you need to be Angie's List in Facebook groups. For instance, for example, let's say you do general contracting, right? And you start a Facebook group called Homeowners in Erie, Pennsylvania. And you're going to drop everybody in your network that is a homeowner, meaning all your past clients, meaning all your subcontractor friends, and et cetera, et cetera. Hey, welcome back, everyone. Today, it's Kareem. And today, we're going to be talking about community building, specifically digital community building. We're not going to get into the weeds of networking face-to-face -face and chamber of commerce and all of that good old-fashioned stuff. Today, we're strictly going to be talking about digital. Now, when I mean digital, I'm talking about really specifically Facebook, and I'm going to use an analogy of like um, Home Advisor or Angie's List, particularly Angie's List. Make yourself a referral magnet. Make yourself a referral specialist. You want to be the person, as I said that, you want to be a lot of things, but today you want to be the person that everybody comes to for absolutely everything anything related to your industry, to home services. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that you do everything in that niche, but if you do, hey, it's fine, you know? So let's say, for instance, and we're going to get into the Facebook group thing in a moment here. Let's say, for instance, that you, um, I, I always use roofing. Roofing is like the low-hanging fruit when it comes to using great examples. Um, I used roofing yesterday as an example. Uh, let's use... Um, General contractors. Let's use a general contractor, right? So you, you're a general contractor and you always got to get, you know, subcontractors to come in and do things. You guys are already used to getting uh, referrals and things like that or being referred to people to do things like carpentry or like stairs, plumbing, like pipes and um, kitchen stuff, electrical work done. Well, what if I said to you, what if I proposed to you that you need to be Angie's List on Facebook? Facebook, in Facebook groups, for hungry buyers, for any and everybody who wants a good referral to other business. What if I also said to you that occasionally, this is branding, by the way, this is marketing yourself strategically. What if I also said to you that occasionally somebody is going to ask you what you do indirectly, directly, and that's going to be your opportunity to slide in and go for the jugular. For instance, for example, let's say you do general contracting, right? And you start a Facebook group called um, Homeowners in, I was, for instance, for real estate people. Homeowners in, uh, I don't know, where's a place in America? In Erie, Pennsylvania. Yeah, that, that's a good stuff, right? Homeowners in Erie, Pennsylvania. Let's say you're in Erie, Pennsylvania, for sake of argument here. You're going to start a Facebook group called Homeowners in Erie, Pennsylvania. And what you are going to do is you are going to reach out. You're going to find people. You're going to start the group. You're going to title it that. And you're going to drop everybody in your network that is a homeowner, meaning all your past clients, meaning all your subcontractor friends, and et cetera, et cetera. And you're going to be the leader here. You're going to drop everybody into this group. And you're also going to proactively go out and make connections with other homeowners in Erie, Pennsylvania. By the way, guys, you can Google this. You can figure out how to find people on Facebook. Um, you could also go into other people's groups and, you know, find a creative way to don't spam, by the way, find a creative way to mention that you also have a group by giving advice, giving help and things like that. People will find their way to your page. You know, that's this is branding. This is marketing. You get to start homeowners of Erie, Pennsylvania. And you're going to start building. You're going to start building your digital network. You're going to start getting people on in there. There are homeowners, and we all know homeowners have like a plethora of problems all the time. doesn't matter what they need. Some you can do, some you can't do. The ones you can't do, you got to refer them to your guy, your, your left hand, your right hand, guy or gal. you got to refer them to them. And sometimes when somebody asks for something directly in your vertical, what you do, 
you got to go ahead and just mention it. Oh, yeah, by the way, I yeah, I do do that. But for the other thing that I don't do, here's a guy right here. He's in the group. Um, or here, I'm going to give you their contact information. I trust them. You should trust them, too, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. One of the first things, you know, a big mistake that a lot of business owners make is, like, they don't build communities, especially with um, the online. They don't build a community where they have all of their prior customers in just one place. Like they may have the Rolodex to use the old example, but they don't have just one place where you just drop everybody in one community and have them be able to talk amongst each other and talk amongst themselves. Like you'll garner more repeat business if you have a place that's active where you have everybody being able to come and curate the information that they know. This is very powerful. This is the power of the internet age. And so in your group, again, called Homeowners of Erie, Pennsylvania, or Erie Homeowners. Yeah, I should have used a better name, but moving on. Homeowners of Erie, what you're also going to do is make sure that this group are, you know, qualified. You're going to make sure that they're qualified. The only way you get in there is if they're qualified, you can actually just put a form and things like that. Um, so when somebody joins the group, they have to fill out the form. Hey, are you a homeowner? You know what I mean? Pretty basic stuff. Are you a homeowner? Do you live within X miles of, you know, how many miles do you live from Erie, Pennsylvania? And you can just, you know, give a couple. Do you live um, from the city center? Do you live two miles? Do you live five? Do you live 10? Do you live farther than, I don't know, you don't, I don't know how far you want to go out, but you get the idea. Once you have everybody in there, you have essentially become Angie's List. You've essentially become a home advisor, right? Like, what's the difference? They built a network of people champing at the bit for these home services. You're building a network of people champing at the bit for these home services. Or at the very least, you know darn well that you're going to need stuff. Like, let's say, I'm um, sorry, I got to go back to roofers. Roofers is like the go-to. So you go to, they got their roofing replaced um, and deciding, you know, like the gutters and things like that. But then what about the stairs leading up, up to the top floors up there? where you actually get to see, you know, in certain houses, you see the, um, the slant on the inside of the roof and things like that, the attics, the crawl spaces up top. Like, well, what about that? Do you do work there too? Or do you know a guy? Do you have to get a guy? If you do, now you have a community of people and you refer them. My whole point here is that become magnetic. What you want to be is the go-to person in your market that everybody comes to for this information. This is on top of you creating all your content and optimizing your landing pages, including um, the landing page on your website and having all the frequently asked questions answered. You know, the stuff I say over and over and over again on top of your paid advertising methods like um, Google Leads and Google Local Services. You want to jockey to get in that top three spot box there. Um, all of this stuff. Facebook groups is an incredibly, incredibly powerful way to qualify incoming leads and to also have people who are your former customers. Just go ahead and invite everybody who is your former customer customer in right now. Don't just have them on your Facebook page scattered all over the place and you got to go digging through your friends list to find these people. No, you make a specific group and you invite all of them. Have somebody do it today. Do it tonight. Don't go to bed until 3 in the morning if you have to, but get this done today. And I promise you, if you build that into a serious community, you will reap the benefits. Build your referral network. Be the go-to gal or guy in your local area, in your market. And you'll just be in the land of milk and honey, as they say. So that's all I'm going to say about that. I'm not going to make this video all too long today, guys. Um, once again, it's Kareem. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, do all the social things, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.